Hello fellow fish hobbyist. My name is Rovon of River Pig Aquatics and I want to share this video with you in case of a power outage because a lot of you out there have no idea what to do. It's really simple and the things you're gonna need are things you probably have already are very cheap to find and let's get on with it you're gonna need a car battery you're gonna need an inverter now this one happens to be uh, let me show you a Duracell 400 watt high output but you don't need all that all you need is a 200 watt and you also need something that can push out 4 amps once you get that you'll be straight okay now let me show you what tanks look like under regular power because obviously we have power now that's why the lights are running okay and this is what you're gonna need again the battery and there's the inverter now let me show you how easy this is gonna take your positive which is red you're gonna hook it up to the positive gonna take your negative and you hook it up to negative now you might have a spark usually that happens in a DC battery well, car battery anyway. And there it is. Okay? Now that part's ready. And you take your inverter, two outlets. Gonna turn it on. Gonna wait for the battery. And there you go. Bam. She's ready to go. Green light. Good to go. Now, we're gonna come over to our pump. Now, this is the air pump. If you don't have one of these, none of this is gonna work at all. Sorry, but you really need an air pump for this. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah, you know. Okay, gonna disconnect. Gonna bring over our inverter. Notice it has two plugs. I want to hook her up. There we go. Now, you can also use this to charge your phone. You can also use this to charge or actually run your HOBs or lights if you want to, but I don't really think that's necessary during a power outage. Um, just basic filtration I would do. And I really don't recommend you run your refrigerator off of this unless you're running 8 to 10 batteries. <laughs> anyway, we're hooked up here. And let me show you the fish tanks. We have bubbles and surface agitation there. We have bubbles. And surface agitation there. We have bubbles and surface agitation there. And we have bubbles and surface agitation there. So you see, it runs the same as running it out out of a wall. <clears throat> and the setup like this can get you about six hours. Now, if you're running multiple pumps, or air pumps that is you know do your math accordingly you know if you're running two pumps you'll probably get three or four hours okay but the good thing about this is all you have to do is disconnect your car battery go outside or your garage use some jumper cables and you can charge this up in anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes come back and you're back in business can't beat that now this is a Duracell 400 watt. You don't need it, but it's actually pretty good. And for 
21 dollars on amazon or 23 or 24 dollars at target or walmart it's not a bad deal now the battery all kinds of prices on this thing you can get to use one anywhere from 35 to 40 dollars in a junkyard or you can spring for a new one which could run you anywhere from eighty dollars to one hundred and twenty dollars and again let me show you like nothing happened absolutely like nothing happened I'm just showing you this video because every fish life matters and you know it's just a little something I never saw anybody do but you know the way things are going now all the snow falling and as strange as weather's been you might need this this is Ro Vaughn from Real Pig Aquatics signing off thank you